Hello and welcome back to another in-depth weather video. Today we're going a little bit back to some normality on the channel with another daily update. So here I am on the National Weather Service page, but first, if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell so you never miss another in-depth weather video. Right now, you can see the West is just full of watches, warnings, and advisories. Not much east of there. We have heat advisories, we have extreme heat warnings, we have red flag warnings, we have dense smoke advisories, we have fire weather watches. Just a whole bunch of different alerts in the west right now. And speaking of the extreme heat, I think Death Valley reached over 130 degrees, which is insane. So let's move on to the radar. As you can see, most of the activity is in the east, but a few showers in the west, isolated. But there's some isolated showers in the central part of the country, and then you have a few few more clustered showers in the northeast. Another couple isolated showers in the mid-Atlantic to the south. But otherwise, just a few other tiny little showers. So let's move on. Satellite time. So here is the satellite, you can see the stuff moving through the northeast, the very few showers in the west and in the southeast. And you can also see Genevieve in the corner there, we will be talking about that in a couple of seconds. But first a little Atlantic update, we do have two systems that could form. We have one storm here that is now an invest has 20% chance in 48 hours and 60% chance in 5 days. And we'll look more at that when we get into the 5 day outlook. We have another one here, 60% in 48 hours, 90% in 5 days. So I will be doing a video on either of those if they do form. East Pacific, we of course have Genevieve, which is now a category 2 with sustained winds of 100 miles an hour. Minimum central pressure of 976 millibars and is moving west northwest at 17 miles an hour. We also have another disturbance here, 10% in both 48 hours and 5 days. Now, 5 day outlooks in the Atlantic. We do have those two systems, both kind of moving generally toward the west northwest. And you can see their expected areas or highest areas of formation would be in either the Caribbean or the Atlantic based on the system. So we we'll definitely have to look at those systems very closely over the next few days. Five day outlooks, you can see another one in the East Pacific right where Genevieve is. Then in the Central Pacific, we have one currently that does have a 20% chance, well 30% chance in five days. Now let's move on to the models. As you can see, we can move through with the low pressure in the northeast, soaking rains possible in Maine as that moves through. And other than that, some isolated showers, maybe a few more consistent showers moving into the northwest over the next few days. Then we got to start talking about Genevieve and its impact on definitely Baja California. But depending on the path, and I've seen it in the spaghetti models. Maybe even California, which is very odd to see. This storm has been taking a very coastly path, and we've been seeing that over many model runs, so we definitely have to watch that. But let's check the temperatures for today. So for today, we are going to be seeing very high temperatures in the desert southwest as well as in the valleys of california triple digits possible even up at 115 there on the map other than that we kind of have this clear cutoff line of the high 90s in front of the rocky mountains other than that 70s and 80s even a few 60s and 50s in the northeast in spots but generally Cooler in the east than in the west right now 
and that was kind of given away by the watches, warnings, and advisories. But that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.